Today is stereo chemistry. How do you feel about that? Actually, I like this better than the chair. Really? Yeah, which okay. is kind of weird. I wouldn't have said okay. that like a couple days ago, but sure. it's grown on me. That's good. <laughs> after after watching the video, yeah. did it click? Yes, actually, that's why I think okay. I started liking it. In class, I was like, what am I doing? And like, I couldn't follow along. But this makes more sense. I hope, I hope. We're actually not going to do any difficulty level one. Oh, really? Because you're prepping for your exam. Uh -huh. Let's be honest, difficulty level one is not going to be on your exam. Yeah, that's true. For this topic, I doubt it. Yeah. So let's change it. We're jumping right into We're today. jumping right into difficulty <laughs> level two, and we'll get to three okay. as well. Sounds good. So this first one is just saying, draw all possible stereo isomers for the following. If no stereo isomer is possible, label it as such. Okay. First thing we have to do here, build it. Uh-huh, yeah. So okay. naming. Let's do it. So I will have my... It's a six, and it's cyclo, so it's like a ring. Perfect. Like this. That's perfect. And it appears. And it all of a sudden, <laughs> and then I have, I will label it one and two. Okay. Just because I think that's what I'm used to. But on the one, there's a bromo, so like a bromo. Okay. That's perfect. Thank you. And then on the two, there's a chloro. Good. Cyclohexane. Like exactly. This. That's six. We know this is six. Okay. I know that one bromo means bromine, mm -hmm. two chloro means chlorine. That's exactly correct. Now we've built what this is. Uh -huh. What's the question asking? Um, draw all the possible stereoisomers. How do we know how many are possible? Yeah, I don't know actually. Okay. <laughs> do we know? Okay. So this is going to go back to chirality, specifically chiral centers. So there's a little formula here uh -huh. where it's the number of possible stereoisomers. It does not mean that they're all going to be there. Uh -huh. uh, it's just the possibility of them is two raised to the nth power. N just means the number of chiral centers. So the first thing we have to do is, after we build it, identify how many chiral centers we have. Okay. Plug it into the formula as N, and that's going to tell us the number of possibilities. Okay. So how many chiral centers do we have? Is it just two? Good. Where right. are they? Okay, mm -hmm. I would say it's right where the, like I, the, I labeled them. Mm -hmm. Like that corner right there, and then that carbon right there. Good. What's a chiral center? A uh, chiral center is a carbon atom that has four different groups. Perfect. Connected, right. <laughs> so yeah, if I'm looking at a chiral center, chiral carbon. Uh, stereogenic center, so many things, uh, what is it, asymmetrical. There's so many words, really? okay? There's oh, so many no. different words that you might hear. Okay. But all this is referring to is just saying that there are four different groups surrounding that atom. Yeah. That's it. I know four different groups surrounding that atom. This is the chiral center. Yeah. And then if you're not sure, remember there are hydrogens here, uh -huh. right? There is a hydrogen that's actually right there. Right. So I know here, this is one group, another group, and what gets tricky is the ring. Yeah. I'm just looking here at a carbon, really a CH2, uh -huh. right? And a carbon connected to bromine. That's two different groups uh -huh. because of this substituent. Yeah. However, if this wasn't here, that would not have been a chiral center. That's true. Because these two groups are now the same. Yeah, that's true. But luckily that's not the case, so we do have two chiral centers. Same concept, again, for this one. If I'm looking at this guy, uh -huh. I'm gonna put that on the carbon. We still have a hydrogen. So again, one group, second group, that's different. Mm -hmm. Looking at the carbons here. Yeah. This is a CH2. This is a carbon connected to chlorine. Uh -huh. Yep, they're different. So, so far, so good. You're right, just wanted to show how we got to that conclusion. Uh -huh. Now, going back to this, if we have two chiral centers, so that's N, mm -hmm. so two squared. Four. Four. Okay. So that's it. Not your question. <laughs> I'm not trying to scare you with math. I know there's barely any math in this in OCHEM, but yeah, there's like funny. there's a very small amount of math. <laughs> okay, yeah. That's it. That's it. So I know that four is the possible amount of stereoisomers. Uh -huh. So, so far, we know that there, it is a possibility. The question is asking us to draw all of them. So, Ooh. how do we do that? Yeah, it's intense. Okay. Stereochemistry involves dashed and wedged bonds. Okay. So we're pretty much just switching it up, and we know there's going to be four possible mm -hmm. ones. So instead of, like, though I got this right, 
with this, where this is a solid line, uh -huh. that's not stereochemistry. Stereochemistry, again, is when I involve dashed, dashed, uh -huh. and wedged bonds. Okay. So we can switch it up. Like, what's all the different possible ways that we can have these two to make four possible stereoisomers? Okay. That's what we're doing. So we can start off with the first one. Maybe it's wedged and wedged. Yeah. And I'm going to have you keep building, so. Mm -hmm. So another one. I could do like wedge and dashed. Good. Right. And we'll keep it, yeah, good. We'll keep it the exact same. And then I can do um, another wedge and dash, just like switch Yes. Them. Okay. And then last but not least, we could do dash dash. Let me scoot this guy up. Yes. Good. Like that. That's it. Those are all the possibilities. This one is just flipping. Okay, great. And also something to note is I know that this is not a miso compound. Yes. Does that sound familiar? Miso does. I can't remember what it was, though. It's symmetry? <laughs> it's symmetry. It's, to, it's an internal line of symmetry. Good. Okay. So there is no internal line because these are different. Uh -huh. They're different substituents. That's why I can't just cut this in half right. and say that they're going to mirror each other. Yes, yes. So I can have two different ones here where this is da this is a wedged and wedged and this mm -hmm. is dashed and dashed. Okay. That's why there is a possibility of four stereoisomers here. Oh, so if it was both bromines and it would only be two? So we wouldn't have this one. So like let's say if, if you're saying if this was bromine and bromine, I'm mm -hmm. going to steal this one here. So these are exactly the same. Oh, that's true, they are. There's an internal line of symmetry. It's a meso compound. I know that I can't have this. This is not a possibility. Okay. So there would only be three stereoisomers if that were the case. Oh. Though, there, though the formula tells us there's four, right. it's just the possibility of four. It's not a definite thing of, yeah, there's going to be four. Oh. This is a starting point. Oh, OK. And then it now, I know it builds. So then you knowing what is miso, what yeah. is, you know, what or meso, uh -huh. pick one. <laughs> I like the soup, so I'm going to pick miso. Like <laughs> <laughs> but yes, so hint, hint, that'll come in handy. Okay. But for now, I at least know, okay, this is what it looks like. There really are four that were possible, and yes, there were four. So your complete answer would be all of these. Okay, that helps. That makes sense. Okay. Same question. Okay. Different thing. Uh huh. What is this? Let's build it. Um. So pentane. I know that there's five carbon. Okay. Like that's the longest chain. Don't do that. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay. Wait, I just lost count. One, two, three, four, five. Good. And then I know that at the three, there's two methyl groups. So where's the three? And actually, let's, let's number this, okay? Yeah, let's do this. I'm going to just go, since if I, either way, if I start on the left or the right, I'd end up at three in the center. Exactly. I'm just go that way. Like that. Okay. Um, two, actually, let me move this around this mm -hmm. way. Two dimethyl, so that means I have that right there, right? Good. Just, That's exactly right. Okay. Look at that. So, perfect. I like that you started at the end. Oh. That's exactly correct. You said, okay, this is pentane. Uh -huh. Pent, I know, is five. Mm -hmm. And from there, I'm going to number everything. Uh -huh. At three and three, this just means that there are two, because of the di, methyl, mm -hmm. two methyl groups at three. Yes. Perfect. Next. What's this question asking? Um, I know. I forgot that was anyone. <laughs> I was like, that was so easy. Okay. Draw <laughs> the possible stereoisomers for the following. Okay. So it's the same thing where we use the N, two to the N. What's N? Um, number of chiral centers. So it only be one. So it's two. There's two possibilities, right? So be, describe a chiral center. It and, would have and point to where that is. Is there none? Good. Okay. Why? So if I were to pick any of the carbons, mm -hmm. I'd only get like three different groups or like two, but I wouldn't get four complete different groups. You wouldn't get four exactly. That's exactly right. And most people would think, oh, there's that's there's, where my mind yeah, is. right. <laughs> you you see this branching and you think, okay, yeah, that that's it. But these are the same groups. Yeah, that's true. And then same thing here. These two are the same groups. Mm -hmm. You only have two different groups. And then same concept here. There's there's two hydrogens. Nope, that's not a possibility. There's three hydrogens here. Uh -huh. Not a possibility. So that's kind of the clue here. If no stereoisomer is possible, 
Then nothing. Then we label it. No possible. And there's okay. nothing. Okay. This would have been your answer. Okay. That, that's it. The whole purpose of building this is just to see, are there any possible stereoisomers? That's true. yeah. Once you identify, yes, there's a chiral center, then you start to add the stereochemistry. Out. Exactly. Oh, okay. And see the different possibilities. Okay, that makes sense. Let's do another one. Let's. What does that look like? Oh, cyclopropane, a triangle. Beautiful. <laughs> and a triangle appears. Yes. Ta-da. <laughs> um, and then... I have dimethyl, so I have two methyl groups coming from the one and the two. Like okay, this. there's the one and the two. And mm -hmm. I'm gonna label it one, two, so my substituents are at the lowest. Good. Like that. And that's everything, right? Perfect, that's everything. Now the question is asking. It's the stereoisomers, so Good. But if there's a possibility. There's two. Okay, why? Because there's three different this is oh, a yeah, hydrogen, hydrogen, right? I was getting confused. I'm like, where did I get the four? Okay. If we just looked at this one, right? Uh -huh. I know, okay, this is a methyl. This is a hydrogen, mm -hmm. two different groups. Next, I have a CH2 and a CH, yes. or you know, really one that's connected to another methyl group. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So these are two different groups. Two different ones, you're right. So you're correct. And then same concept here. This is it's, it, this is a hydrogen. And then again, same same there thing. Go. Okay. Yes. So you're good. So that's good. Okay. So there's four different groups attached to them. Yep. It repeats. How many possible stereoisomers do we have? Four. Yep. Build it. Okay. Stereochemistry now. Let's do this. Technically, wouldn't just be like this. I could do this. That's fine. And let's have like, this little. It's like a little triangle. Oh, yes. Thank you. And then I could technically also. I'm gonna have skip a, this over. Oh yeah. Thank you. That's perfect. Then. Same thing, I could switch them. No. Check your work. They're the same thing though. Good, they're the same thing. So what does that mean? What kind of compound is it? So, what do you mean? Compound? Hold on, they're the same thing, right? Uh -huh, you, said, uh -huh. you said that these two are the same thing, correct? Uh -huh. Yes, they are the same thing. Okay, does that relate to anything? How would we classify this as a stereoisomer? Think of the soup. Okay, so miso symmetry? Yes, or, okay. yes. <laughs> So this is a miso compound, and it's just this one specifically. We're not saying that these two are. So this is the same exact thing. I can't have that. Oh, that's why the other one earlier. Yes. I was so confused. I was like, why? Oh, so that's possibility of four. That yep. This is one of those. And then your main clue, we're not even necessarily looking at the chiral uh, center's like configuration uh -huh. at this moment. Instead, how we can tell internal line of symmetry. These mirror each other, right? I can cut this in half. If I were to cut this down the middle, uh -huh. this is the same as this. Mirrored image. Yep. And because of that, that's how I know it's it's miso. Okay. So I can't have this this guy here because it'd be the same thing. It'd be the same exact thing. Oh. So instead, you have the option of either picking this one uh -huh. or this one, but not both. Okay. So okay, that's that one is out. So what else can we do? So I could do. Could I mix like a dashed and yes. a wedged? Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'd be fine there. That's correct. Can we do anything else? And then technically, can I do the same thing, like a dash here and a wedge yes. here? How does that work though? I don't know why that, why is that? Thank you. The reason why it would be different is because this one is pointing away from you, this one is pointing oh, towards you. Oh, so it's a different structure. It's, it, it's different because uh, this goes back to really enantiomers. Yeah. So these two actually would have been enantiomers because they're non-superimposable. Non super superimposable just means that if I were to line try to line these up, uh -huh. they wouldn't line up perfectly. Superimposable means that okay. these two yes. would line up perfectly. Okay, okay. And that goes back to like hands, right? Where our hands are uh, non superimposable because like and they're mere images of each other, uh -huh. but I can't line them up, right? The thumbs don't work. Right. So that's the idea here. This is pointing towards the back, this is pointing towards the front that's not gonna line up. Okay, but in this case, because if I did a wedge, then they'd be pointing, two pointing towards the front, two pointing yes. towards the back. Yes, they're not opposite. If you like stack them, they would be the same. It would be the same thing. Okay. Because you're just flipping it. That makes sense. You're just like reversing what it oh, is. Me so. I know. That's so confusing, okay. But in this case, there's so four possible, but the, the there's actual? only three actual. I yes. See you. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. okay. And we're bringing in matching. Okay. So we're going to label each pair mm -hmm. as either identical enantiomers, diastereomers, or constitutional isomers. Okay. And I'm just going to... Throw me in? Yep. Um, okay, I know this one is a diastereomer, 
because only one changed. That's exactly <laughs> correct. You nailed it. And that's exactly the clue, right? That's what we're looking at for diastereomers. When only some, but not all, the uh -huh. chiral centers configurations has changed. Yes. And in this case, we really didn't even have to assign priority, figure out if uh -huh. something was R or S. We could have, right. but let's be real, you're not gonna have much time yeah, on your, your time. exam. Yeah. So if you can just instantly see that, well, this is now dashed and mm -hmm. this is wedged, only one of the chiral centers, which we know these two are our chiral centers. Right. Only one of them changed, well, yep, diastereomers. There you go. Okay. Perfect. We're off to a great start. <laughs> I will not lie though, there's one on there I don't understand what it means, so uh, we'll just we'll, we'll, we'll roll get there with when it. we get yes. there. Next one. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I okay. don't know this okay. one. Okay. What do we typically look at to try to identify some of these that you know? What's changed or if it's okay. the same or if it's like opposite. What's changed then? The CH3 moved to this one. Okay. I'm gonna make this, let's make this super easy uh -huh. and just number okay. the carbons. 